Today is July the 22nd, 2014. I'm going to make a series of hopefully short and informative videos about Wi-Fi. I've loved working at these 2.3, 2.4 gigahertz frequencies uh, for a very long time. A number of years ago, I built this. I forgot about it. This is a slot antenna. If you can see inside how it's built, it the uh, radiation is actually out of the slot. 0.3 inch inner diameter and a 0.75 inch inner diameter of this copper tubing. If you do the math there, it's 128 times the log of the diameter ratios and it'll end up being 50 ohms and indeed it is. This thing matches up very, very nicely. I'll, uh, I'll uh, demonstrate this later, but I just had to show you this. As I have been doing this a long time, I really enjoy it. Uh, it beats uh, climbing trees and stretching out 80 meter diapoles. Anyway, I have a number of antennas. These, they all perform. I'm going to give you 90% of everything I've got to tell you about antennas right here and now. The antennas themselves generally work. These are my reference antennas. So I have a reference point. I don't have all my equipment on right now. It's not necessary. These are little antennas off of uh, access points. I had to buy a bunch of adapters. I, I've been waiting weeks for all this junk to come in. All other kinds of little ground planes. I use a um, little wideband amplifier here. You can see the blue light that just tells me it's on. I drive it with uh, this HP signal generator goes up to 3.6 gigahertz or so. Got a nice uh, HP spectrum analyzer we'll be looking at later. This is a uh, bird uh, slug. It's a one watt slug. Goes from 2.4 to 2.5 gigahertz. And here are the antennas. This is just one that I've gotten off the internet. I think it used to have a little uh, tripod right here and uh, I'll test all these things. But again, what I've got to show you is basically the antennas work. Here's a little program that I've never uh, put on uh, YouTube before. Let's see, let me, let me get some, some of the glare off. My apologies. Here. All right, so you can actually see it. This, this is uh, a program, a software program sold by a company I think called MetaGeek. This is a Y-Spy 2.4X. Now, it's actually, it's actually pretty neat. I've got it set here for frequency, if you can see my cursor right there, to 2.410 gigahertz. And there is what I'm transmitting. I've got the uh, signal generator turned down really low. But, um, if I put my cursor right here on that frequency, then it'll tell me right over here, see those numbers jumping around a little bit, this one right here, my current uh, field strength at this antenna. If I take it off without disturbing my frequency, if I take it off, you'll see immediately that it goes way up, went up to, or went down, I guess you'd say, to minus 60. I can screw on the little bitty antennas. I'll screw that on. We'll see what happens. See, it came back up to minus 43, minus 44. I'll change it back out to the bigger one. See, now I'm up to minus. 41, so I got about a 3 or 4 dB gain out of that antenna. It actually does work. The antennas actually do work. The SWR on these little antennas, this one, this one, same thing here again. Uh, they're all pretty darn good. Probably 1.2 or better SWR. These little antennas, same again. So, when you build your antennas, you may be very successful at it. You may be more successful than you think. But, how your whole antenna system is, 
it's going to determine how, how well it works. I have recently purchased all kinds of different kinds of connectors these little pigtails, these little six inch pigtails, they work quite well. You don't have much loss in them. So you gotta, gotta get all kinds of them. In connectors to reverse polarity, SMA, and the whole nine yards. You gotta have a bunch of that stuff. And you'll find out that if you are evaluating your antenna, and you keep all your connections short to your antenna, you'll probably find out your antenna itself may be working quite well. But if you use great big long lengths of this stuff they call coax, well, you, you, you've defeated the purpose. See, this is a reverse polarity uh, male SMA for Wi-Fi use. Uh, the video posted on YouTube right before this that I made shows what kind of loss there is in this. So where I'm going with this, and like I say, this is... 90% of what I've got to say, if you build antennas and you use this kind of stuff, you've actually lost ground. All this stuff is right here is audio cable. It's not even coax. It's not even a braided shield. It's just, a, it's just the uh, shield spiraling around. It's junk. So you may build a nice antenna and then you hook it up to nine meters of this stuff and you've lost 20 dB. Unfortunate but true. If you have to have long runs then you must use stuff like um, oh darn I'm drawing a blank here I hate it when I do that uh, the LMR 400 LMR 600 if you can afford it even 9913 works pretty good the Bell 9913 but you just simply can't use this kind of junk. You made a nice antenna, you lost it all trying to get it back to this. It doesn't work. Here's another thing. Okay. Here's a common little access point, a little link sis. I don't use these anymore, but I have used a lot of them. Here's one right here. Look at the size of this coax. I cut these two off of here. Think about it. Whatever RF you have right there, by the time it gets from here to the end of your connector, you put your antenna on it, you I don't know what the loss in this little tiny piece of coax is right here, but I bet it's pretty staggering. It's probably the way that the FCC uh, controls the amount of RF power radiated in the Wi-Fi bands, in the 2.4 gigahertz bands. So everything matters. Your whole antenna system is what matters. This little antenna has quite a bit of gain. It's pretty amazing. I actually quite recommend this for, a, for a, a short one. But what you have to do is if you're going to use something like this, you need to use those little short pigtails and, and proper connectors. And then if you, if you can hook, if you can connect this thing up within six or eight inches of your uh, of your access point, you will actually get some gain. However you want to stand it up, I don't know. You know I only got two hands here to, to mess with, but don't put it on that long piece of coax. Not that little tiny stuff. So there again is uh, what this is all about. And I'm going to start making measurements. What I do here is I take this off right here and I put different antennas on. I first get a reference point over here to, to this antenna and um, we'll start seeing what the gains of them are. Basically, uh, they're all about the same. These are all dipoles. This and these perform pretty much the same. Uh, there is a, quite a bit of gain in these cantinas, and there is a decent gain in, in these little quads. Quite a bit more in this one than this one, although this, although this one's prettier. I made this one some time ago to try to illumi illuminate a um, satellite dish. Didn't work all that well. I wasn't very pleased with it. So there you go. That's my first introduction to some Wi-Fi antenna videos I'm making. I don't sell any of this stuff. I don't promote any of it. It's just these are some of my tools and uh, this is actually quite a nice tool. See right here is my 
2.41 gigahertz and you can see that it's quite strong and again see it's about minus 40 which is a really nice strong signal you that'll work very well um, this is uh, I will say something about this software this is called Metageek 3.3 and I know and you can see like if I I'm going to take this antenna off and watch what happens to everything all the activity is basically goes away so you can see things stop down here now the interesting thing about it is uh, well you'll actually see this right here go away too watch this so let's let it let's let it run for just a minute um, I use a, a digital watt meter readout here for the uh, it's a I've had, sometimes I use it on the 5 watt scale even though I have a 1 watt element I found out if I put it on the 5 watt scale it gives me 5 times the actual number but then I can read reflected power easier so uh, there you go well it looks like this thing is scanning so slow it's going to take a long time um, let me stop it and then I'll come right back and I'll show you how the antennas actually work on here get that glare out of there this is what we're going to be looking at here in about five or ten minutes okay now that the computer's had a little bit of time to scan you can see on up here that our signal has dropped way down red indicates way up here in the minus 40 dB range and uh, now it's green so it's somewhere down in here it's actually down at like minus 67 or so so the antennas do actually work on this uh, Channelizer 3.3. Okay, now I'm going to stop and reboot. Everything's just, everything's going to be the same, except I'm going to use a different version. Stop this one and start a different one. Let me wait till it comes up, and I'll come back with the video. Okay, well here's version four booted up. It's pretty interesting. I've been taking the antenna off and on. It was off here, on here. It's back off again. And watch when I screw this thing back on. You'll see the signal level come back up. So the antenna works on it too. That's my two C 2.41 gigahertz right there. So all this stuff works. It, it's it's quite a nice toy to play with. Uh, let's see if I put the big one on here. Let's see if we can see any difference. I'm not gonna I won't belabor this too much, but we ought to get a little bit stronger signal. Let's see what it looks like. Well, I'm seeing more red out here. That probably indicates... Um, I don't see it right there. Yeah, maybe I do. I see the yellow a little bit wider. Lots of, lots of wonderful toys out there nowadays. If you click on SSID here, click on it right here, and turn on that. See, now I can... It tells you... I have one in the ha one house here called iPad. I have another one called Ingenious One. And then there is my signal coming from my HP. So there it is. Quite a nice, uh, quite a nice little uh, instrument to work with. So there you go. In the end, I prefer the old school um, signal generator, spectrum analyzer world. But uh, to have them all is, uh, I guess, the best way to go. Hope this helps. And uh, the next videos I make of the particular antennas, I hope, are, are helpful, too.